All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. All right, here is uh, Perticone stuff in the basement. This is rock pop AOR. Um, there's even a little bit of Americana on this. Some would say country-ish sounding stuff. Two guys from the country of Italy. <laughs> I think I'm the only one that found this. Uh, and I really like it. I mean, any rock band that uses a saxophone, okay, it's great by me uh, most of the time. Anyway, here it is. Go stream this. It's called Stuff in the Basement. Special guest appearance at the beginning from Sly Stallone. That's how I know they love American music. They're trying to make like soundtrack music. Uh, maybe there's a movie, Stuff in the Basement, that they can... Uh, you know, there's a sequel or something that they could get into. Anyway, uh, bands with saxophones. How about Foreigner, right? Um, Urgent, amazing saxophone on that. I think it was Junior Walker um, played on that original song. And Foreigner has always had a multi-instrumentalist in the band, and they are a great band, but they are wrapping up their career uh, they will probably finish up sometime early next year with this farewell tour. Uh, Kelly Hansen is doing interviews, and he said something kind of interesting about Lou Graham. Uh, he said, you know, hey, I respect Lou, but sometimes Lou doesn't uh, send that respect back. He doesn't reciprocate. That was the word that Kelly Hansen uh, used, and maybe not specifically uh, aimed at Lou, but I'm pretty sure it was because who else because Lou recently has said things like hey he mimics me too much he does my vocal ad libs he does my vocal licks kind of like guitar licks but on vocals you know better than an ice cream cone lick you know <laughs> some of this terminology honestly uh, needs a little tweaking a vocal lick how about, you know, your inflection or how long you hold a note or your breathing or maybe you put in an extra syllable here or there? I mean, I don't know precisely. Maybe somebody can educate me on what a vocal lick is, but I get it. I get it. He's basically saying that, you know, do your own thing. Sing these songs your own way. Here's again, and I've already made this point in other videos. If you're paying good money to see this band and you're a casual fan and you hear these songs on the radio, when you go to the show, you expect those songs to sound like the songs on the radio, which means the singer has got to be good at imitating the singer who was, you know, famous for all these songs, the original singer, which is Lou Graham. Um, somebody said, hey, Lou. Maybe you should look at it as someone, you know, paying tribute to you. You should be flattered by it. And Lou Graham was having none of it. And look, Lou is a legend, all right? Lou is a legend. Lou can say anything he wants to. Lou can be angry at Kelly Hansen. But here's the deal, all right? And I understand. And Kelly basically says in this interview, hey, I get it. You know, this isn't the original band. Uh, you're looking back at the history of this and nobody's going to replace you, Lou. He didn't say it like that, but I'm saying it. No one can replace Lou Graham and Foreigner. But Kelly Hansen has helped people cope now uh, with Lou not being there for almost 20 years. I mean, since what, 2004, 2005? So you got to give Kelly Hansen credit. And, you know, Mick Jones is holding on. I know he's not out there for the entire show. Uh, Lou Graham had said that uh, Mick was not in good health. But I think Foreigner came back and made a statement saying that, uh, hey, Mick is okay. He's He was doing, you know, so-so, but now he's doing better. So let's just hope that Mick Jones can finish this run of shows that they're doing. And I understand people are paying $250 for one ticket, you know, in mid-size arenas to go see Foreigner. The seats are good. And I'm sure they're 
being entertained and it's a great show, but you have one original guy in the group. So uh, this is the way of classic rock right now. You're basically, you're running a franchise and you've got different players than you had when the team went on the field. And I knew this was going to happen a few years ago. I said, well, uh, they're going to take the brand and they're going to they're going to go forward with it. Then you're going to have the minor leagues as well, which are the tribute bands. And some of those minor league bands, they sound better than the so-called major league bands. Uh, there's this band called Beginnings that does the music of Chicago, and they are really good, really close and Leonid and Friends, obviously, who I used to talk about constantly. Uh, they're the Russian version. <laughs> you can't hang out with Russians, though. You know, it's just a bad thing to do these days. But no, those guys are amazing. And I think that's the future. With Foreigner, if you're right now, you know, thinking about starting a Foreigner tribute band, uh, unless Mick Jones wants to put a new team on the field, because I think he owns everything. He must be, um, you know, the um, the CEO of the foreigner brand. I'm sure he could do that if he wants to do it after they retire for a year or two. Maybe they bring a new team on the field and see if they can sound like the old foreigner. And of course, all the old timers are going to complain. This isn't the real band. They imitate Lou Graham too much, <laughs> whatever the complaint's going to be. It's a no-win situation. You know, Mick Jones, I think, uh, did a great job picking Kelly Hansen. I was like, eh, I don't know at first. But because of the longevity and the fact that Kelly is never embarrassing out there vocally, I'm never cringing when Kelly Hansen is singing. There are times other singers who've taken over for other bands, uh, one band that has been in the news a lot and I talk about all the time, I've had some cringe-worthy moments uh, in you know recent years, especially not maybe ten years ago, but say five years ago. Yeah. So Kelly Hansen at least understands. Look, my voice isn't holding up for too much longer. Let's uh, get the show on the road. Let's do this tour, and let's quit while we're ahead. Let's not embarrass ourselves. And that is what Peter Cetera said uh, a few years back. He said, "You know what?" I had to quit. I didn't want to embarrass myself. So anyway, um, Kelly Hansen, is he a good singer? Is he a bad singer? Is he a cheap imitation of Lou Graham? You, you're going to have to decide. Lou Graham, I'll tell you what, he's a legend. He can say whatever he wants to. He can yell from the armchair and tell everybody they suck because compared to him, Pretty much everybody does, but I think Kelly has done a good job helping people cope with the fact that uh, the vintage Lou Graham that we all grew up listening to, um, you know, Lou is still out there and he does a good job when he sings, but, um, you know, things have changed and uh, it's pretty much across the board for every vocalist his age. Uh, things have changed a lot, unless you're maybe Mickey Thomas uh, or... Um, Robin McCauley. There are a few people that defy the aging thing. Dennis DeYoung, although we haven't heard much from Dennis lately because, uh, you know, he hasn't been out there on the road. I'm hoping he'll get out there and do a few shows with sticks someday. Anyway, hell might freeze over. And if it does, you want to see if uh, Dennis and Tommy and JY are together. Uh, that's the first thing you want to check for. Um, and then, you know, make sure you've got enough canned goods to get through. Um, here's <laughs> here's his Perticone stuff in the basement. This is the next generation of rock for old geezers like you and I. And you should listen to it. Check it out. You may just be shaking your head going, no, I'm going to go back and listen to Foreigner 4, Dave. Thanks for the recommendation, though. Appreciate it. And I'm going to go, you know, it's hard to argue with Foreigner 4. 1981, baby. What a year. What a year to be alive and what a year for music, right? All right. I'm done. I've babbled enough. See you soon.